Would you like to know the steps and the process I use to create this acrylic painting? In this video, I want to tell you what inspired me to create this painting and also what I use to have uh, those really bright colors and fun textures. So why don't you follow me in my studio? If you're new to my channel, my name is Natalie. I like to uplift and support women through art. And the way I do this is through making videos, um, painting tutorials, and I do art journaling, which is something new and I really love it. It's, it's a lot of fun. So um, I hope you subscribe to my channel. So just hit that uh, subscribe button and also the little bell so that you get my notification. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, the paints I use for those really bright colors are the art Artist's Loft paints. And um, for the fun textures, I use the mixed media stencils. Uh, they're really great. I had so much fun using them. So the colors I used are the yellow ochre, portrait, portrait pink, light blue. I have light magenta, metallic cobalt blue. And I also have the craft, Craftsman paint, a bright gold and also copper. Now the uh, mixed media stencils are from uh, Faber-Castell. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description with, uh, again, everything I use, but you can see how much fun I had just kind of using a sponge and the brush um, with the stencils to create those fun textures. So I started my painting with uh, a very loose sketch and I, use, I just used a pencil. So I like to start my paintings with uh, all my colors in a tray and I just mix in the, the container that has no paint. So I just added white. I used a little bit of portrait pink and the uh, yellow, I guess it's the yellow ochre. I like to start light in the background because I'm gonna build with more textures and uh, like brighter colors. Here I just added a little bit more of that yellow. You can paint over the lines of your sketch, but when you use uh, a regular pencil, um, your lines are going to get blurry. So just make sure to go lightly over your lines if you want to do that. Again, I started with a very loose sketch and that means I might change some things in the process. Now I'm using the blue. Uh, this is a light blue with just very light brush strokes, again, building up my background. So, so far, the steps and process uh, to doing this acrylic painting have been to uh, just do a sketch and then pick some light colors for the background. And I'm starting to add uh, just some medium colored uh, paints so that I keep my background nice and uniform and start building my textures. So 
so now I'm just continuing with the light brush strokes for my background and I just dip my, dipped my brush in a little bit of metallic cobalt blue. I like to blend everything so that you don't have one of the colors really standing out. I really want to give uh, a soft start to my background. I like to blend with a sponge. I just put a little bit of water on my sponge and um, I add just a very light coat of paint on it and uh, I just blend the colors that I applied. And of course, these are my steps and process process uh, to the this acrylic painting. But you can mix things around, and you can start using the stencil a lot earlier. Uh, but I'm just showing you how I did uh, my painting. using the portrait pink uh, or if you don't have that color you can mix uh, a little bit of red in some yellow so just to create a light orange and just add some white to create kind of a flesh tone again I'm going very lightly over my sketch so that I can still see my guidelines now straight into that beautiful uh, magenta it's a light magenta color for this painting I used paints that were mixed already uh, I usually like to blend my colors I mean mix my colors and create them but um, just to have this really bright effect uh, on this painting I just went with those very bright almost neon colors and I love it especially with the uh, the background color it really pops so what inspired me to create this painting is uh, yesterday was uh, Sunday um, it was Easter Sunday and it was a little bit chilly but um, when we woke up this morning on Monday after Easter we had a thick coat of snow so it snowed all morning uh, I just made uh, my way into my studio and decided to paint a little bit of spring on canvas. So I just grabbed the brightest colors I had in my <laughs> in my toolkit and I just uh, started painting and it's it's just so much fun. So now for the hair, um, as you can see I'm applying very thick coats of paint and that's because I'm going to use a palette knife to um, to give some very fun textures so I'm leaving my acrylic very thick and I'm going back and forth to create the body uh, just with that uh, portrait pink mixed with a little bit of white now this color is uh, again the metallic cobalt blue and I'm just creating a seat for her to uh, sit in her garden and uh, I definitely want to um, I'm going to be creating uh, some kind of flower feel it's not going to be this painting is impressionism so I'm not going to be creating like every little petals of a, of a flower it's going to be more of a of like a feel of a garden so now I'm using my first application with the stencil and I started to apply it with um, with my sponge and the stencil is just sticking to the to the canvas so I was um, very generous with the paint which kind of gave me a little bit of uh, blur in between the the flowers or the design but that's okay I just picked up my sponge and uh, just made the best of it
I think when you see things happening like this on your canvas, uh, you really have to play with texture and not necessarily have any expectations. So I'm using my stencil and the sponge and using a lot of paint. As I said at the beginning, uh, this is a lot of texture, very fun texture. So paint and stencil, I think, is a, a good way um, to give you those um, uh, those textures and and kind of um, the the colors, like the transitions of colors. Of course, I have to do a little bit of finger paint as well. So I just applied the yellow with my hand. Now I left the paint dry for a little bit, so I had very thick coat of pink, and now with my brush, I'm, um, in a way, I'm stretching the paint, adding a little bit more over it, and acrylic takes a little while to dry, so you have time to come back with your palette knife and really play with uh, stretching the paint and adding those fun textures. I'm dragging my palette knife 45 degrees, um, just kind of adding some paint and uh, making, uh, letting the, the knife uh, create those little streaks in the background as well. So if you wanna hold your paint knife, paint knife um, or, or palette knife on an angle, it's gonna give you those uh, really interesting texturing as you can see right now, I'm just going with lighter colors over some of the stencil work, and I'm really loving what it's, what it's doing. A little bit of splattering with uh, some, thin, some thin paint. I just wanted a, I added a lot of water to a little bit of white, and um, I'm just using my brush to throw a few droplets of paint on my canvas. Now with my small brush, I'm just adding some of that copper color. Uh, the paints are from Craft Smart Metallics. Uh, they're they're really fun. I really love these colors because they're they're kind of thick. Um, so I'm just kind of doing those little nuggets for earrings, and now I'm gonna start working on the flower crown in her hair. So I worked on outlining her body a little bit with uh, a light color and I did the lips with uh, that really fun color, the pink magenta or light magenta. And I'm just kind of, again, adding my stenciling in the background and just having fun creating more texture. to alternate between the um, the stencil and the sponge because it's giving me more of an organic look you know I think that discovering your own steps and process to creating an acrylic painting uh, really comes with time first of all and just 
practice. So I invite you to uh, sometimes just grab a canvas and practice some um, some brush strokes and, and color transitions and things like that. But most of all, always have fun with it. Using some more of that um, light magenta in the background. I love using the palette knife. Now very carefully with uh, just a little bit of brown, I'm, um, I'm actually doing the outline for the, the eyes with eyelashes and um, just working with my small brush uh, with very little paint on it because I want those those lashes to be very very uh, thin and wispy a little bit of eyebrows again with my small brush I'm just kind of adding a little bit more color to her skin tone this painting is all about layers I wasn't sure what I was going to do with her arms. Uh, I I just started to have to add some um, flowers, but she's holding the flowers with the, uh, the head down. The flowers are facing downwards, and I really love that. I love how she's moody, and she looks like she's that gardener, just that just sitting there, sitting pretty with her nice dress and um, I'm going very organic with the flowers uh, just basically you know just pressing down with my brush and it's giving me some kind of shapes of, of flowers but just using little dots uh, you know I'll get them to be a little bit more uh, defined I went back to the top of my painting just to add more uh, more dots kind of brightening up uh, some of those uh, shapes in the background and I'm adding again some of more some white to the the shapes I love it I you know just playing with your brush sometimes um, you, don't re you don't really know what you're gonna end up with but um, they definitely look like flowers to me they're just fun to look at and they were definitely fun to paint I love the colors I thought she could use a little bling. <laughs> I did um, uh, an arm and bracelet. I'm putting little highlights, last touches, um, just making her eyelids a little bit more colorful. Why not? She had time to put a little blue eyeshadow before she went to her garden to pick up some of those tall stemmed um, flowers she is fun she's pretty she is spring and um, I'm just very very happy to have spent three hours creating this painting Finishing up with a little color on her cheeks and that should just about do it. I hope you had fun today. Uh, it was a snow day for us here but I sure brought the spring onto this canvas and it's bright and she makes me smile. So in the description, I give you a black and white rendition of this painting. Why don't you grab your pastels and uh, bring some color in your life as well. And why don't you 
share uh, one of those coloring pages with a girlfriend. You can invite her and print one for her or send it to her in the mail. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, connect with me on Twitter and Instagram at Paint with Nat and hang out for a little bit and watch more videos. Until my next video, please stay creative. Bye.